Good evening, YouTube people. Today I want to read some more of my prose poems that I wrote. They're not dated, but they were written when I was younger. I mean, grade school. So I'm going to start off with this one. This one was untitled. Can you hear the wind in the trees? How it makes groaning and moaning how it makes a groaning and moaning sound through the leaves when a storm is near can you hear the rumbling sound of thunder oh it's there when it sounds out its fury when it's gone and when it's done and gone the air is fresh and clean oh how i desire summer storms with lightning and rain um here's another one again untitled and undated Oh no, it can't be true, but it is true because you're gone and you have taken everything away from me. Oh, my world is full of pain and no sunlight will ever reach my world because it's all wrapped in blue. This one <laughs> was designed to be pretty funny. I was, I was being funny when I wrote this one. Actually, I think this was supposed to be for... My mom's character, Poofaroo, with CC and Poof. So, we'll kind of, I'll just read it. You guys can get a laugh out of it. Oh, the bees bring honey to their hives. Oh, my honey is as sweet as can be. My honey is as pretty as can be. And she's my lover forever and ever. Okay, this one's pretty long, so I'll just go ahead and read it. Look well, my friends, and see what makes them tremble and flee in a panic, for it is he who will destroy your homes and all that ye have lived for. Look well and that, at that ball of fire that comes towards us with evil intent. Oh no, it is he who is the fire dragon, the one and only evil guardian of fire. Run for your lives, lest he decides to eat you. Look well at those fangs, barred to do evil. Shadow, stop. Here's another one. We bear fangs at the ready. Our claws are our weapons. Beware enemies. You shall die under our power. No one can compare to us at all. You are at the bottom of the food chain. With eyes that see with perfect sight. With might that never fades. Through time we will be here waiting. Now this is kind of a, a romantic poem. Sorry, allergies are buttered. we are real bad right now. <laughs> Roses bloom, and magic curls and twirls around in the air. <laughs> oh. Guys, I'll be right back. You guys can look at the cat right now. Okay, I am back, y'all. Sorry for that. That was uh, not intended to happen. Unfortunately, allergies, uh, well, they kind of happen whether you want them to or not. Okay, so back to the romantic poem before that. I got screwed up. Roses bloom and magic twirls and twirls around in the air like a, like a whirlwind. Stormy clouds cover all that is good and shiny. Water glitters and glimmers. In the cold air of winter, the seasons of thinking has come, and now being lazy has come to its end. Magic swirls and twirls in the dusky sky of twilight. It twirls and swirls around like a whirlwind. The seasons of storms has begun, and now the sky is gloomy with bits of lightning sparking up the sky. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay, here's one more. Rivers flow to the sea as time flows ever faster. Time, my friends, brings love in all those other seasons of happiness. Time brings sadness, among others which are unpleasant. Time destroys what we have built. That's why we will rebuild again and again. As long as time stands, no one can say that time always stands still, for it does not. Um, here's another one. The seas are blue, as my world once was blue, but now I have found the path of love. The world now has a flavor that I can't quite put into words. The seasons remain blue. I mean, the seas remain blue, but the roses remain red, for love is red as the hearts. For love is red as the hearts. Love is a wondrous, many-colored thing that will continue throughout time, and it will never die. Now, um, here's one about the day. Um, the day is done, and the war is gone, and so are a lot of other things that went with it are gone as well. The nights come and all is dark in the world. A sea of nothingness now beats out a silent drum, drum beat, <sighs> or heartbeat. Look well, mortals of the world, that the same does not happen to you, for if it does, then your world will forever be blue. I say these words to you as a wiser feline now. Look well before it fades away from existence. Look well, my friends and enemies. Um, this one I, I did for my mom, I think, for, for um, Veterans Day. Roses are red and violets are blue, but my friendship for you really is true. Roses are red and violets are blue, and my friendship really is true. But even in a blue world, some cheering up is good for you, my friend. Even though your heart hurts, it will not hurt forever, my friend. You shall see soon enough. Roses are red and violets are blue, but my friendship is really true. Uh, here's another here's another one my world is so blue that I could die and I may die because you haven't noticed me at all my world is so blue that that I will die crying lonely tears in my grave I shall die soon enough because of you the sky mirrors my emotions exactly on the way I feel about you if only my world wasn't so blue I don't know what I'd do with myself then I know it's true when you walk by and don't notice me at all. My world is so blue that I could die at any moment. Now this was pretty much my first in a talking about uh, a character that my mom used to play, which used to be Cat Claw's love interest, which was Poofaroo, uh, the magical wizard. And he, of course, could never get up the nerve to ask Cat Cloud on a date. He would just sort of ignore her, um, fumble around, I mean, or stumble around, you know, and, and but he, but he was so in love with her, he couldn't really, uh, bring it to words. Um, so this is, so, some of it, it's kind of how, uh, Cat Claw would actually have felt, um, in those words there. The day is done, and night comes, oh my friends, beware of those that watch with Russell's eyes that never cease in her hunting, manner. They wait for the fool who steps out his door, and then they pounce on him, and they feast. <clears throat> Stormy seas and danger lurks everywhere. Gloomy castles hide creatures of darkness. Together these work for the evil forces, because mortals forgot what hides in shadows will do you harm. Listen not to voices of temptation, for that is your undoing. Stormy days and all is calm on the land. Magic abounds here and there, borne on the winds of chance. Gloomy castles and not all is well within. Stark calls. Stormy seas and monsters bare their teeth in anger and in fear. Beware the land. Air and sea are full of dangers this stormy night. The storm. The storm. The storm cometh blown by winds that have never been seen but only felt. The storm 
hath a certain feel about it as the tree b trees begin to sway in the wind the storm cometh by first and by last is the dust storm that cometh now prepare yourselves before they come together and then shall lightning striketh the ground and hit that which is taller than yourself the storm cometh at a fast pace see way yonder how the trees bendeth towards the ground the storm cometh blown by winds that have never been seen but only felt this storm hath a dangerous feel to it the storm hath cometh now ye hear its thunderous fury Roses are red, violets are blue, but my love for you shall never go astray. Roses are red, but they are never blue. You see now how true my love is for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. As the sky is blue, roses are as red as my heart. Roses are red, my love. You know it's true when our animals begin to climb the walls. Now this again was, like I said, written when my mom was alive, so... I guess now it could pertain to me having a boyfriend too, but, <laughs> well, we'll see. I doubt Draco watches any of this stuff anyway. Okay, this is a song that my character Misty sang for Bast. Bast was so beautiful and wonderful, and she was full of light, peace, and might, but her sister was her undoing, but she will be doing nothing now since she's gone far away from us to carry on the light. Bast was in her prime, a loving mother, ruler, and friend. Bast was so beautiful and wonderful and was met and wild. Bast, you see, Bast, you saw, Best you saw true, and knew your death would be a sad thing among us, but justice shall prevail against your sister. Bast was a true and tried friend. Bast so beautiful and wonderful, so full of light, peace, and might. <sighs> like I said, some of these were so old that they don't really make much sense and they don't really rhyme, so that's why they're called prose. <clears throat> Dreams. Dreams may never come true, but I still believe in my dreams, because if I didn't, then I would not get by on life's silver, on life's silver wings. Dreams come to all at night, dreams of fantasy and dreams of truth, dreams of the river, and that's all that really matters now in the world of dreams. Love means so much more to me than it ever did before, and now that my search for love is ended, now I can begin to rest, for the journey has yet to come to its end. My lover, you will see that the power of the day grows stronger each day. Oh, my friend, believe then when they say that dreams really do come true. <clears throat> Spring comes and goes. Spring may come and go. But my love for you shall remain. But now that the day is here, maybe the spring will be cooler. But if not, but if not, but if nothing happens between us, then it has all been for nothing. Spring may come and go, but the day that never goes away will be one worth remembering. Spring comes and goes like love. And this again is another song that my character Misty did. Gloomy with clouds that pour no rain, but flashes of light and thunder ringing its fury. Cloudless skies and not a moment too soon, as the first star shines its light in the heavens above. The cloudless sky stretches for thousands of miles a thousand years from now we will wonder again where we will where we came from
Again, this is a song that Misty, my character, did. <clears throat> oh, come hither, my pack friends, and let us hunt the night through until the next day rises. Oh, come now, let us assemble and hunt down our prey this night. Our might now is stronger than the night. Oh, come hither, my friends, and hunt with the pack. As a pack, we are stronger than the herd that we hunt. Oh, come hither, my pack friends, and let us hunt the night through. <sighs> They will come hither, and we will lay in the sun, and dream away, until the night comes again. Here's another one. Winter days and winter nights are so very clear and bright. Days and nights that feel ill to the soul. Well, my friend, I tell you this Halloween is around the bend, and with it comes creatures of darkness. Winter days, and everything is stormy and gloomy. Winter nights, and not everything is calm and peaceful to those that watch and fight. The evil that abounds when the lights go out. The days and nights fly by so fast that soon summer shall raise its flags and victory over some, over the win, over summer. The winter comes now. Now, now that actually didn't make much sense, but well, that was a typo on my part. <clears throat> Misty's love song. Misty, oh, whoops. <clears throat> love is a wonderful thing, and through time it can bud like a rose, and it is fully budded. Then you will see the beauty that is there within your mind. Love is so min is a many colored. Thing that can mean many things, my friend. Love, my friend, you see now before you. But when love is gone away, then the world shall remain blue. But love shall remain long after I'm gone. Love, my friend, is a tale that shall never end in time. Love, my friend, is what you will always see. Love means roses, bud within your heart and mind. Forever is a long time that shall never end. But now you will see that the world cannot go on without love. Now, I have another notebook that I'm going to read to you guys, so just bear with me while I find pages to read. It's rather personal, but um, I'm going to read it, and uh, if the so-called person watches this video, he'll, he'll know what's about him. <clears throat> the Red Dragon. Eyes of fire and scales that glow red with desire. This is your song, your legacy to the world, your flight, like the first opening of a rose's bud. Your love will take you to the greatest height of all, the power revealed in your muscles as you flex them, but arms that are so gentle when you hold your family close, a passion that is secretly hidden and rarely given, waiting to be unlocked by the right person. And yet you see more than I ever could. The red dragon who caught the feline at last, whom gave a great trace. I could not escape. I could not escape, for you drew me in, for I saw something within you that pulled at my hidden heart. For your passion and kindness has won you the greatest prize, but today I look back and I wonder what it is that drew you to me. Perhaps that question will never be answered, but I would free you even if it made me cry blue tears to see you go, but I think my heart's too involved now to try to in it to fight in its cage for long, for you set it free, and for that the red dragon became a knight in shining armor. Today we will see if this game we play in the name of love will last us a lifetime. For now we wait and see what the morrow brings. Joy sings through my veins at the discovery of the love I feel for you. 
that elusive red dragon. Okay, this is called the Days of Summer. The hot wind blows from the south, bringing with it the feeling of summer's glory. I hear the birds crying in the trees. Life stirs more forcefully once spring relents to the heat. The rustling of the trees prelude to the squirrel's playfulness. Another day passes and flowering trees bud out. The noon reveals love's first kiss, and that wherever you look, it's here, that blue azure sky shows it all to me anew. I hear the swift beating of my heart when I hear the sound of nature renewing. The storms come and quench the thirst of the ground around me. I feel bound to this day of summer, so I sit dreaming under that sun-filled sky of you and all that you mean to me. Going on. Uh, I guess this was kind of when my mom passed away. Um, I'm not real sure. <sighs> you may move and leave me behind, but I will still be here writing my heart songs. But when I think of leaving and moving, I become blue and I cry. But I know it's the process of growing up. But in the end, we all go away. I may lose a friend when you go away. But I will remember the good times we had. Going away holds many memories. The people I care about all went away too. But perhaps for you... You may meet someone who will be much closer to you than me. Anyway, I'm saying goodbye before it's too late, and I start to cry. Okay. Like this was when I was depressed, so um, I'm just going to read it here. The weather inside me. A storm has has been brewing, growing ever closer to the boiling point today. I knew the weather would be frightful inside me, but you can't foretell the weather when it's inside where no one can see. I try to be pleasant when I don't feel in a sunny mood, but sometimes even I fail. Today, though I fear, the weather will be stormy as my blood pressure soars when I think of all the things that make me mad. I could be a bad girl, but even I couldn't pull that, can't pull that off because of my guilty conscience. But tonight, the stormy weather may clear, and tomorrow could be bright with sunshine. However, today, inside I feel tired because of what's going on, and emotions have a quick... emotions have a will of their own. The weather inside me continues to grow worse, and I try to escape the realities of the real world. But I woke up into this tempest that is chaotic. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been better if I hadn't been put in tune with my emotions. But then if a certain dragon hadn't woke me up, then I wouldn't know what love feels like either. The storm inside me is far from over. The day of light. The daylight shines in my world, but brings no comfort to me. But in this world, I see the light slowly fading. Today, I sit and ponder my life and the challenge is there. Today, the darkness tries to consume me, but I will not let it, no matter what the doctors decide. But no matter what happens, I will try to keep a cheerful face. The day the light is no longer strong, then is the day evil will surely win. Here I sit and ponder today's doings. I hope that if I learn a new truth, that it will not chase you away from me. But if it does, then I must accept it, even though it will scare me to face it alone. The day the light goes away, I will know my life is over. I will try to go on even with this emotional threat hanging over my head when I learn the truth of the test. I will try my best to learn and control it with the best of my abilities. Again, this is another dragon, um, dragon, um, thing. They soar on gilded wings of ivory and gold, but their jeweled bright eyes that glow bright in the semi-darkness of caves, where creatures unknown exist tonight. The dragon cries into the sky, searching for the female that caught his eye so long ago, but the cat is no longer there, for she had gone into a world the dragon has no knowledge of. Consulting his memory, he remembered the way to the world the feline took, only to find a human in the cat's place, still there, is no denying his attraction to the female. He kidnaps her and takes her to his cave, and as far as I know, they are still there to this day. The shapeshifter and the dragon 
are entwined into eternity. When my emotions strike, this again is when I was depressed. When my emotions strike, I often feel like the whole world is against me. Sometimes my tempers flare into flames and I say things that I don't mean. When my emotions strike, it is like a big cloud that covers me. When I feel blue, I can't see past the tears that blind my eyes. When my emotions strike, I often fear to speak, so instead I hide behind the written word. When my emotions strike, I often try to not say a word when things make me angry. When my emotions come out to play, I try to express them in prose poetry. And that, my friends, is all I have written. And some of those were, as I said, very, very old. Some were personal. Some were just based on fantasy characters. But I hope you enjoy this.